gathered and kept these things, hallelujah, that was told them by the shepherds, praise God. And we know that the high priest and we know that all the high men, the Sanhedrin court and all of them had heard about what had happened to the shepherds that was out there. They heard that this baby had been born. They heard that he'd been wrapped in swaddling clothes and that it was found lying in a manger just as it had been prophesied about 2,000 years before. Hallelujah. And yet, as though they could quote these scriptures, and yet they knew these scriptures, yet they were not looking for him to be born, and they did not recognize that he was the great gift of God, that he was the Messiah that had been promised to be sent. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that Jesus was around 30 years old, and he began his earthly ministry. And we know how that he went everywhere that he went. He went preaching the gospel. He went doing good. He went healing the sick. Praise God. Hallelujah. He cleansed the lepers. Nowhere in the Bible do we find that he ever turned anyone away. But the Bible said that he received as many as came to him. Hallelujah. He never refused anyone. But his heart was open to all people that came to him. And yet, even though they knew that this was a prophesied of old and that was the scriptures, and even though Caiaphas, he was the high priest at that time, at that time and Annas was, he was the brother-in-law or the head of Sanhedrin court, and he was the brother-in-law to Caiaphas. He was one of the head of the ruling body of Israel at that time. And yet, even though they knew all of this, they didn't know that this was the Messiah that was there, that was working and walking among them. So they begin, as the miracles begin to multiply, and as Jesus' fame begin to be spread abroad, that they begin to ponder and to work and to wonder how they could get rid of him because they didn't want Jesus there. They didn't want this King of Kings, hallelujah, this Lord of glory, praise God. Uh, they, they refused him. The Bible said that he came to his own, but his own received him not, praise God. They rejected this great gift that God had sent to mankind. This Jesus that was willing to leave heaven in all its glory and all its riches and take upon him the form of man and come to live and to dwell among us that we might have eternal life, that we might have that great gift that was given that first Christmas day so many years ago. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In a little stable, in a little town called Bethlehem. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Now we know that also it was prophesied that he would be born in Bethlehem. And I'm sure that all these high priests and all these uh, that studied the word of God so diligently knew where he was to be born. And yet when they read that and when they saw where he was born, even when the wise men came and began to ask and to seek him because they had saw a star in the east. And the Bible says that uh, when they had come, uh, they went to Herod the king and they asked, him, where is he that is born king of the Jews? And Herod was very upset, and, and yet he tried to hide it from these wise men. And, and he, he asked them, he says, what time was it that you saw that star first appear? And when they began to tell him at what time the star had first came, even though it had been prophesied, even though they knew the scriptures, and even though now they were hearing it from these wise men, they did not see it. There eyes were blinded. They did not know the truth. They could not begin to understand because you see, they no longer looked to the Lamb of God, looked forward to the cross of Christ, but they had gotten to such a ritual. Oh, they were religious men, but yet they had gotten to a form of godliness, and they were denying the power thereof. Hallelujah. And they did not know the truth. They did not see it when it was there. They did not understand it when it was being fulfilled right there in their very eyes and they themselves was part of it that was having this great prophecy fulfilled praise God and yet they did not see it 
And so he told the wise men, he said, I want you to go and diligently seek for this young child. And when you find him, I want you to come and I want you to let me know because I want to go and worship him. I want to go and worship him myself. But yet he was lying because in his heart he planned to kill him, to get rid of him. But yet these wise men were wise men, praise God, and they did not return to her. Praise God, but they went on their way. But the angel of the Lord that had appeared to Joseph when Mary was was found with child and told him not to be afraid to take her as his wife because that child was born from God. Hallelujah. You see, it was important that it was a virgin that had this baby. Praise God. You see, even a long time ago, the devil has tried to change it. The devil has tried to mar it. So he had them change the word of God. I think the ver verse Bible that they changed was called the Revised Standard Version. And in this version, it doesn't say, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. But it says, A young woman shall conceive and bear 